Hi everyone, welcome to this weather update from the National Weather Service office right here in Miami. I'm senior forecaster Tony Reynes. Let's take a look at the latest cone graphic. We can see that basically the entire Florida Peninsula is under either hurricane warnings or tropical storm warnings. So all of us at some point we are going to be uh, under the influence or under the impacts of this hurricane. But for more details of what can we expect here in South Florida, including Miami, West Palm Beach, and even Naples, let's talk to our meteorologist in charge, Robert Molleda. Robert, good night and thanks for being with us. Yes, hi Tony and uh, good evening everyone. Uh, as we see here, the Category 5 Hurricane Milton as of this evening uh, now is moving to the northeast, so we still expect the impacts from the storm to start tomorrow and last all the way to Thursday. So we need to keep on remembering that this is going to be a very large storm when it makes landfall uh, sometime late tonight there along the, along the Gulf Coast of Florida, but the impacts are going to be wide ranging. For example, on the, on the storm surge side, we're talking five to eight feet of flooding above ground level right along the immediate coast in Collier County. So very important to folks in Collier County, if you're in an evacuation zone and you have not yet evacuated, please do so as soon as possible because these conditions are going to start, uh, start setting up as early as tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow night and very during the pre-dawn hours Thursday, that's when the surge, when these five to eight foot levels are, are going to be occurring. So very, very dangerous and life-threatening storm surge. The other thing we want to point out here is the wind. We're expecting strong wind gusts to start occurring uh, as, as early as uh, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening along the southwest Florida coast, and then spreading eastward across South Florida during the night and during the, the early hours on Thursday. So we're expecting the possibility still of hurricane force winds from the Lake Okeechobee area down to the Gulf Coast. So those are areas that could see at least wind gusts that could get up close or to right at hurricane force. Farther to the east around Lake Okeechobee, we're expecting winds that can reach strong tropical storm or 60 miles an hour or higher. Finally, the tornado risk. Starting late tonight, we're going to see some, some showers and thunderstorms moving on shore that could produce tornadoes, and that tornado threat's going to continue all the way through tomorrow. So we need to keep close, a close eye on that as well. So that's the update for this evening. Stay safe. Stay informed by going to weather.gov forward slash Miami and heed the advice of local officials. So, Rob, before we let you go, there's uh, one question that we've been getting from a lot of people. Um, can we compare what happened with Hurricane Ian in 2022 with what we are expecting here with Milton in 2024? Yeah, we need to be careful to, to not make direct com comparisons, especially since these are two different storms. Uh, we need to be looking at what's going on with Milton and what we expect from Milton as it approaches the Florida coast. The bottom line is we're expecting a dangerous, life-threatening storm surge all along the Florida Gulf Coast from the Tampa Bay area all the way down, including the Naples area. So folks in those areas really, really need to be taking this threat seriously. Like I said, if you have not evacuated and you're in an evacuation zone, you need to do so as soon as safely possible because these conditions are going to start deteriorating and the flooding is going to start coming in as early as tomorrow night. Thank you, Robert Mojeda, meteorologist in charge of the Weather Service. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And we want to remind everyone that the best and most recent information for all your weather needs, you can find it on our website at weather.gov slash Miami and also uh, follow us on our platforms on Facebook and X. Thank you, have a good evening, and we'll see you next time.